Magandang magandang umaga sa inyong lahat dyan sa Pilipinas and welcome dito sa ating One Life Sabado Live. I am Coach Koy and together with me is Coach Sheena. Yeah. Hi, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Hi Coach Sheena, so kung saan ngayon? Okay naman, ganyan ka rin. As usual. So ayan, ang topic natin is the spider web of core values. Kung hindi ako nagkamamali, ito yung pang apat uh, na episode. Doon tayo sa uh, self-awareness uh, division ng UMI series natin. Again, the UMI series is a four-month long series of discussions and activities uh, to know yourself. And kung hindi ako nagkamamali, ang subtitle niya is the art of being grounded to the truth of who you are. So, ano ba yung mga nakakal natin ng mga nakaraang araw? Okay, so, during the first week, we talked about um, uh, yung foundations of our core identity. The second week is... The second week was the for identity coaching model to get a last thing was the um the timeline the timeline okay the and the the and so today on our fourth week it's all about the spider web call or okay, so the spider web of core values. Pag sinabi pang spider web, ano ba yun? Ano? Sa ako, sila. Ang gulang ba? Sila, so parang um, net or connection. So they're interconnected to each other. Pag sinabi sa akin, worldwide, worldwide web is all uh, a series of interconnected networks. So ganun din yung core values natin. So if not, hindi ako nagkakamali. Um, I did, I was able to discuss this before. Um, sa, sa same series din, pero hindi natin masyadong nakatama. Kasi nagkaroon tayo ng mga issues. Nagkaroon tayo ako ng mga issues na. Anyway. Um, if you are watching a new play, please comment, hashtag new play, and um, comment your reactions, suggestions, questions. If you don't mind me now, just send me or coach Sheena uh, any questions that uh, is relative to this topic and this topic alone for the meantime. So, yeah. So, coach, do you have any questions? Fifteen na uh, core values. Yeah. Paano ba natin ginawa yung pagpili dito? Ito mga core values na to. Well, so basically, ito mga core values na to. It's like parang ito kasi yung para sa akin na ito yung um, ako personally na I think na ina-apply ko din ito mga personally ano tawag din uh, core values ko rin yung mga list na to ah yeah. uh, so sabi sabi ko nga sabi sabi ko <laughs> sabi ko nga ano um para para hawak naman tayo ng mga core values lahat ng mga tao di ba so pagka nang bata ka maging mabait ka tapos maging mabait ka tapos uh, mas mabait ka sa magulang mo wag kang nakakasagot wag kang nakakasagot sa mga matatanda di ba so, depende lang yan kung paano natin pinaprioritize yung ating mga So, right now, what we are going to talk about is security, freedom, fulfillment. Ano ba iba, Kuchina? Uh, security, freedom, fulfillment, uncertainty, peace, authenticity, self-worth, connection, certainty, significance, growth. Excitement, faith, progress, and giving. In giving, so napaka ano? Huh? Peace. Peace be with you. So, <laughs> ano? Um, 
Yeah. So, paano natin pag-connect ko ng time? Sabi nyo nila, uh, ako, personal, meron akong ano, ay nga pala, ipapalag ko na rin siya. <laughs> meron akong humor series, diba? So, ang nakalagay doon, nakalagay doon yung hinahalap ng tao. Self-worth, significance, isa ka, security. security. Uh, so, yung nakalagay, yun yung pinaka na, bakit kami yung hinahalap doon? Ano ba yung hinahanap ng isang ba? Happiness. Happiness. Content. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Fame. Riches. Wealth. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Pero, bakit nila hinahanap yun? For what purpose? Mm-hmm. Bakit, 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 bakit gusto ng mga tao na magkaroon ng maraming pera? Siyempre, para ma-fulfill yung mga needs and wants nila sa buhay. Needs and wants. So, if your needs, if your needs are met, at meron, marami kang, ano mo, marami kang patapunan ng pera, anong tawag ko? Contentment? Hindi. Pwede kang hindi makontento. Pero if you would give, you have, you have a sense of after the show of your things, ano yung susunod? Safety and security. Safety and security. Diba? So, marami tayong hinahanap sa buhay natin. Marami tayong tayong gusto sa buhay natin. Pero it all boils down to three. Security, significance, and so on. Uh, gusto natin na makatulong sa kapwa natin. Gusto natin to do something better sa mundo. For what purpose? Para makatulong sa ibang ka. For what purpose? Para magtigo ng legacy. For what purpose? Para magkaroon ako ng self So yun, pag, pag kukunikonect tayo sa natin ngayon. So para pa sa'yo, coach niya, um, ano yung um, dalawa? Kumili ka ng dalawa na or values dito na ma-apply sa sanyo? Dalawa. Ay, wait lang. Nagupli ko ito. Core values natin. Ako siguro is yung growth at saka yung yung mm, Self-worth. Self-worth. Paano mo magkoconnect yung dalawa? Um, self-worth and co. Kasi halimbawa. Mm-hmm. Diba? Kasi ako ako sa nyo. Kasi sabi ko kasi na when So whenever, i-define, i-define mo muna sila. Ano ba yung growth? Yung growth para sa akin is, another term is also progress. But at the same time, yeah, whenever I learn from um, uncertain experience or um, I tend to become responsible to a certain action or decision that I do. Para sa akin, I also consider that as growth. Not to siyempre physical, kasi hindi na ako tatangkan. Diba? <laughs> but uh, rather, personal na, na fulfillment or development. Yung para sa akin, para sa akin yung definition ko ng growth. While yung self-worth naman is, para sa akin, is it also equivalent with self-love and appreciation of yung sarili ko. How are you value yourself? How are you value myself? So I think my co-connect to self-worth and growth is that in order for me to um, what you call this? To value myself more and give myself the sense of self-worth is for me to enable myself to go. 
Ayan. So, that is your own uh, prioritization of your uh, core values. So, for example, I always say that the fish could only be as big as the fish bowl. Mm-hmm. So, yung growth mo, nakabasa yan. What do you feel about taking risks? What do you feel about uncertainty? What do you feel about um, faith? Lahat yun, all at once. Yeah, interaction with both. Uncertainty, risk, um, faith. faith, and Excitement. Excitement. Pansin namin in order for you to grow, you can be own, you can only be as good as your fish food. You can only be as good as your fish food. Paano mo siya Okay. So, first, uh, before, sabihin na natin na I'm not into taking risks. That it. And I don't like uncertainties. Before. Okay. And Why? Kap kita dyan. Bakit ayaw mo ng uncertainty? Kasi parang ay ayaw ko na hindi ako sigurado dun sa pwedeng maging end result. I'm not comfortable to kapag blind. Siyempre ikaw, di ba, di ba, kapag ikaw di ka nakakita. Di ba? So you tend to be very, very conscious at maingat or rather hindi ka nalang gagalaw. Kasi hindi mo alam eh. Diba? So parang that's the way I see it before. If I don't know where I'm going, I'd rather not go. Exactly. So you'd rather not go. You'd rather stay on the safe side. So ano yun? Security. Mm-hmm. Diba? So if you stay on the same side, it can only be as big as your fish bowl. But it's may maximum potential mo sa fish bowl. And then you stay safe. Kasi takot ka sa uncertainty. Di ba? What happens to you? So, syempre, naging stagnant ako at some point. Yes. And if you're not growing, you are? Okay. So, what do you feel about uh, security and uncertainty? Is uncertainty like really a bad thing? Hindi naman. No. Kasi... Um, kapag sinabi mo kasi ng uncertainty, so di ba parang hindi sigurado or hindi sure. But it doesn't mean na it is something that is not worth trying. Then. Why? For what purpose? Kasi nga, di ba lagi natin sinasabi na if you don't go, you'll never know. Di ba? If parang you don't want to live with, with your life, you know, what ifs and what could have been. Di ba? If you're gonna stick on the safe side, alam karate. Kasi, pa paano mo malalaman na you have the capacity to do this, or to do that, na kaya mo naman pala, if you're not gonna try. Diba? So, hindi ka rin mag-grow at the same time. So, you're compromising your growth for your safety and security, and compromising your progress as well uh, for your safety and security. Maraming taong ganyan, parang halimbawa, tagal-tagalan dyan sa trabaho nila, tapos hindi naman sila nag-grow doon, sa napububo na lang sila doon, so, and that didn't motivate sila. 
Diba sa atin nila, meron daw uh, sa inyong kaya na dahilan kung bakit nag-job ng trabaho yung mga tao. Una is salary. We're not compensated. Pangalawa is um, their relationship with their boss at sa mga colleagues nila. That's commercial. <laughs> Pangalawa is their growth. Hindi sila nang growth. So they need a bigger space for them to do. Isipin mo, kung yung mga tao na yun, takot sa change, panibagong work schedule, panibagong pakikisama, panibagong connection, panibagong boss, hindi mo naman sigurado kung makakasundo mo yung boss mo sa kanil. Panibagong routine sa umaga, panibagong ruta, nagdadaanan. Panibagong, uh, ano ka ba, huwag mga mga bago pag nagpapalit ng trabaho. Panibagong, IP, panibagong ATM card. Ang <laughs> dami ang kapal-kapal na ng wallet kasi sa mga dami ng IP. Oo, oh, di ba? Di ba nga ganun? So, parang yung iba, ayaw nun. Ayaw nila. They wa- they'd rather feel safe and secure and complacent and relaxed. Okay lang sila. In, in other terms, they're sacrificing their life. Sa parang, Takot sila sa uncertainty. Pag ikaw, you're really uncomfortable of uncertainty. Ang nangyayari is you tend to be on the safer side. You tend to be on the safer side. It's either um, hindi ka mag-grow or um, ano ba ba, pagka nasa safe side ka, hindi mo ma-explore yung ibang, yung border horizons para sa iyo. Mm-hmm. hindi mo sila malalaman. So, ang um, palagay ko, pwede ko rin i-connect yan sa faith. Ano ba yung faith? Faith, para sa atin, it's not really the religious um, aspect of the way we see things or of life. But rather, when we see faith, it's parang interconnected with you with kung ano ba yung, yung trust mo sa sarili mo like we have kasi di ba when we say like faith it is something that um believe in something that doesn't exist or na, hindi siya tangible diba? so um kapag do you have faith na pag dumipat ka ba sa bagong work na makakapag adjust ka ba ulit? Do you have faith ba na hopefully yung bago mong boss eh different na from your current one? Or may faith ka ba sa sarili mo na um, mas magiging makapag-perform ka na mas maayos dito sa bagong trabaho na to or sa bagong career or sa bagong endeavor na gusto mo pa sa mga kayo? Diba? Pero sa akin yun Tama. So the faith, yung faith kasi is like um, having trust in the future na parang ito yung mangyayari, ito yung gagawin ko. Once I jump from one ship to another, ito yung mangyayari. Pero faith without deeds or actions, di ba, is hindi na maganda. So kung takot ka at yung connect, kung takot ka na hindi ka makakonect, in sa mga uh, kasama mo sa trabaho or kung iniisip mo yun. Kasi mahalaga yun eh, di ba? Paano ka magkasama ulit? Hindi lang ka lang para sa bagong mga partner mo. Alam mo yun, sa mga kaibigan, di ba? Lagi tayong takot sa gano'n. Um, and usually, ano yung nakakompromise sa atin if we strive for connection? Uh, usually, yung pagiging totoo mo sa sarili mo. Kasi minsan, in order for you to please other people, diba? especially yung bosses, the co-workers, na minsan you become somebody na based on yung gusto nila or yung standards nila. But right, hindi kung ano ka ba talaga. So, ano yung more value? Um, I think that's gonna fall on authenticity. 
right? So what we always say is that you never compromise your authenticity over your connection. Kasi oo, sa umpisa, if, you, if you're agreeable to them, sige, magiging okay sila sa'yo. Um, you can only hold that for so long. Diba? And, or, pwede rin mawala yung uh, pagiging yung pagkataama, yung personal identity. Dahil dyan. Kasi diba minsan kapag ka meron na tayong mga kasinungalingan na tumatagal, parang nag-a-adapt na rin tayo dun. Parang yun na rin yung pinakaniwalaan natin. Ganito ko ba? Kung ano, kung ano ka sa opisina, ganito yung binagawa mo. So yun. Ikaw, Coach Kim, um, how different are you from your private life and how your public life? Parang yung public side. How different? Oo. Malaki pa yung difference. Person, person. Mm-mm. Malaki yung difference. Kasi... Uh, outside o oh, yung public face, public face talaga yun. Uh, very quiet and timid. Diba? Quiet ako. I always get that a lot. Na lagi na sinasabi na I'm so quiet and very timid. Ganun. But yung private sa photo, ganun pa din ako. <laughs> Quiet pa din naman ako. Pero, um, tawag dito, hmm, may taglay din naman ako kainayan. Tsaka, kadadala ng kabuluhan at kabaliwan sa buhay. Diba na, only a very few people uh, have the privilege to witness that. <laughs> Share mo naman sa amin yun naman tayo. So, may, nag-iisip ako na mabanat sa'yo para wag na. Ano? Uh, yun nga. So, di ba? Uh, we, we never compromise our authenticity uh, just for uh, connection with people. Kung ayaw nila sa inyo, just kaya nila nila. Right? But it's case-to-case basis. Mm-hmm. It's not always the case. Go on. Di ba? Kasi para sa akin, as long as yung identity mo naman is hindi naman yan, totally nakakalis sa'yo, or um, tawag dito, or natataka ka naman yung katao mo. Diba? Kasi sometimes you also need to adjust and compromise based on sometimes so, hindi pala sa ayun na hindi pala eh. so nandoon pa rin babagsak pa rin depende pa rin kung alin ba yung masipag prioritize mo oh, so, prioritize mo ba yung authenticity mo or yung connection the case to base case to base basis yun so, yun yeah. so isa-isa yun Ay, ano yun iba-iba talaga ng uh, ako kasi yun authenticity <laughs> over connection ako like all that ayun pero nag-adjust din ako minsan like Minsan na, it really depends on uh, how the person approaches me or mm-hmm. kung meron ba akong uh, itong worth it ba na isacrifice ko yung authenticity ko for, for, to make, for me to make that connection. So, you know. No, um, I think I'm the other way around. What do you mean? I'm connection over authenticity. Sige, go ahead. I'm interested. Ano yan? So, yun nga, yun ang yun ang sa akin. I think mas binabayo ko ang connection over authenticity. For what purpose? Um, probably because I've been codependent for quite some time or actually mm-hmm. up until now. Kaya I tend to be more mas binabayo ko yung connection ko for other people. Kasi nga, I'm somewhat codependent na dapat parang laging may connection. Tsaka yun yun. I'm, I have, uh, before, I think I have problem with attachments as well. May issues din ako before when it comes to attachments and relationships. Kaya siguro, 
I tend to value connection more to burn authenticity. Okay. So, what's the thing more? sa buhay mo that um, the connections that you have now almost all sinasacrifice mo yung authenticity, authenticity mo almost all the time before before Which, pero ngayon I tend to balance it out okay good for you <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's a process. Yeah. Change is not really mm, ganun, uh-huh. so, so, how, how is it now? I think how is it now? How are you doing? In terms of what? In, in terms of the process. Mm, and getting there. So, so meron ka na yung progress. Mm-hmm. So, 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 so progress na yun. If you were uncertain or to take the first step, so you need to make that kind of progress. Siyempre. What is the first step on uh, working towards the desired state? We well, need to identify first. Ano ba yung um, mga problems na meron ako on the current situation ko ngayon. And then, once I identify that um, problem, so ano ano ba yung mga um, plans or ways na pwede kong magawa to change that yung focusing more on the things that uh, pwede kong makontrol, syempre. Diba? And then, after that, then, yun nga, I need to set kung ano ba yung design state ko. What would I rather be ba on that particular situation? Hmm. Ayan, so, that's good. So, kung yun nga, kung hindi tayo mapupunta dun sa first step, Uh, identifying the problem or owning the problem. Kung wala may ari ng problema na So you need to own your problem first and then create what would you rather have. So create a desired state and then the steps and then when will you start? Because not in the next year, hindi nyo naman always plan. You just have to start. The moment that they identify the problem. So, it's it's progress. Kapag ka sinabi naman, halimbawa, kung meron ka ng uh, nakarating ka na dun sa desired state. So, nakarating ka na sa desired state, ano ang maramdaman? Siyempre, magiging contento na ako. Magiging contento ka na, contentment, and fulfillment. Diba? So, ano ba yung mga prerequisites ng fulfilled? Ano mo sasabing fulfilled ka na? Mm, ako, kasi personally, sasabi ko kasi na fulfilled na ako. Kapag, um, whenever na-accomplish ko yung isang bagay, is the end result is para sa akin. I feel happy. Hmm. Kasi, ito nga eh, parang just recently, I was asked, bakit daw, kasi nung sinabi ko that I'm a nurse back sa Pilipinas, and tinanong niya ako, why is it that a lot of you uh, are into nursing? So, ano bang meron dun sa job na meron ka? Why, why do you... Ba't daw ako pumunta dun sa ganong career? At tanong niya sa akin yan. And then, parang nasagot ko na lang is I really find fulfillment in helping other people. 
na whenever I accomplish things to make them feel better, di ba? Kaya pa pa rin, kaya pa pa rin comfortable sila or ma-alleviate mo man yung konting pain na nararamdaman, di ba? Or more, what more, you know, maisalba mo yung buhay nila, di ba? Um, ano mo yun? Uh, masaya. Kasi para sa akin, dun ko masasabing uh, nagkakaroon ako ng feeling or sense of fulfillment whenever I feel happy of doing certain a certain act or yun. So every time ba nagkakaroon ka ng, self, oh, ng sense of fulfillment, anong nangyayari dun sa pangkay ng self-worth? Eh, syempre, medyo mas lumalaki. Medyo lumalaki, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, kapag ka, meron ka ng security, meron ka ng self-worth, meron ka ng fulfillment, meron ka ng significant na nagagawa sa buhay mo, tumutulong ka, meron ka na naibibigay sa ibang tao, meron ka ng growth, meron ka ng connections and meaningful ones because when I prioritize me, meaningful connections. Meron ka ng uh, meron ka ng mga bagay na hinahanap ng mga tao. Would you think na meron ka na rin peace? Peace? Mm-hmm. Ako sa tingin ko, hindi ko pa na-achieve yung part na yan. Hindi pa rin. Mm-hmm. Paano mo masasabi na you are rich? Siguro kapag meron ako freedom which is another core value sa tingin ko up until now is I'm still on the process of having that. So, so you're working towards your freedom. Mm-hmm. How would you define freedom? Sa akin kasi, I could say that um, freedom is uh, whenever like parang I can make decisions on my own, which is I do naman talaga. Kasi parang, I'm totally responsible to my own actions and decisions and inactions. Diba? But at the same time, uh, siguro, whenever I do something that I know that is right, that siguro, I won't really feel sorry about Um, making that particular decision or making that particular action. And um, at saka siguro na it's kind of hard to explain really uh, the concept of freedom. Pero siguro yung nasiguro sa akin mo on, I could do whatever I want or like be who I wanna be and you know without really thinking about what other people will say or what other people will think. It's not just like, I don't give a, a, damn. <laughs> a damn about the things but rather mas ine-embrace ko yung siguro yung self-worth ko, yung, yung, yung value ko, kaya I don't really mind those kind of things na para sa akin siguro yun. That's my own perspective, syempre. Pero sa ibang tao naman, it's different from everybody. Yeah, they all have different realities. Mm-hmm. So, sabi na nila, ang um, Bluetooth daw ng ating mga realities is our truths and our feelings. Sabi ng isang enlightened So, it's like the truth or 
you should always remember that your thoughts and your feelings are the true truth of your realities. Mm-hmm. You have to learn to uh, change the blue no, blue, blue sorry blueprint. <laughs> so you have to change the blueprint, and your reality will change as well. Mm-hmm. What do you think of? Your thoughts and your feelings are the blueprints of your reality. You change the blueprint and you would afford to change your reality. Okay. I'm going to go to Bluetooth. Alright. Hindi ko alam parang pinasasabi ko dito. So, yeah. sabi niya nila, marami tayo hinahanap, di ba? Hinahanap natin yung security. Hinahanap natin yung authenticity. Hinahanap natin yung significance. Hinahanap natin yung self-worth. Hinahanap natin yung profess. Hinahanap natin yung uh, freedom. Pero nakwento ko na ba sa'yo? Yung kwento ng mga gods. Matalang ko pa ikwento. Hindi ko lang alam ni Donna to. Basta. Alam mo ang hang absent na ata si Donna. Hindi man ano din mamaya. Kala niya na sila. So yun. Yung kwento ko sa'yo kung hindi na yung kwento ng mga gods. Nung unang 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 panahon, nagkaroon ng mga pagpupulong ang mga gods sa mga sa mga sila. Sa mga namutan, mga deities, mga ganyan-ganyan. Mga gods. So, ang pinagpupulungan nila is yung mga pinakamahalagang uh, aspeto o mga pinakamahalagang values ng tao mm-hmm. is malapit ng malapit, malapit ng malaman ng tao ang katotohanan behind them. At pag nalaman ng mga tao ang katotohanan behind them is hindi na rin nakakatilangan ng mga gods. Mawawala na tayo ng mga gods. Mawawala na tayo ng halaga sa kanila kasi makikita na ngayon lahat ng gusto nilang makita. So, ano ang mga solusyon natin yan, mga Panginoon? Sabi naman, sabi naman, yung leader nila. Pero isa yung kayo, papangalahan natin siya, Thor. Okay? Uh, para itago natin yan, itago natin siya sa pinakamalayong parte ng kalangalan. Sabi niya yun, ano, sabi niya yun, yung maliit na God, yung pinakamaliit na God. Medyo alanganin ako dyan kasi ang alam ko, uh, malapit na sila makapag-send ng mga spaceship at mga, mga uh, rocket na pwede makarating sa pinakamalayong uh, lugar sa kalangalan. So parang ayoko niya, hindi ako hindi ako okay dyan. Mm-hmm. Sabi niya, eh, ayaw na, hindi na nasalita, hindi na siya mga mga, kasi ikawin siya eh. Kasi, ngayon, sabi naman yung isang God, uh, sabi niya, alam ko na, itago natin siya sa kaila-ila-ila-ila ng dagat para hindi siya makita ng mga tao. Yan, yung mga 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 kaya ang mga tao na yan, habang tumatagal, lalong tumatalino. At balang araw, magkakaroon sila ng isang bangka na kayang sumisin sa pinakailaliman ng dati. Ah, may point. May point. So, saan na natin siya itatago yun? Saan na natin itatago yung significance? Saan na natin itatago yung self-worth? Saan na natin itatago yung uh, freedom, yung authenticity, yung security, yung pagmamahal ng tao, yung halaga ng tao, saan na natin itatago. Sabi na yun, nung isang maliit na dati, hanapin natin siya kung saan hindi siya mahanap ng mga tao. Itago. Oo, itago. Sabi mo, hanapin natin siya. Ayun pala. Hanapin natin siya sa kung saan hindi siya hahanapin ng tao yun yung part na hindi nila alam kung saan um, hindi nila may isipan na nandun lang pala yung hinahanap nila. Alam mo kung saan nila ginagawa. Sa bawat isa ng mga tao. Yes. Sa loob. 
Indian suggestion. Yun yung final call ng post. So, so all our security servers, security guys, uh, all, all, all the wrong places, happiness sa ibang tao, content and sa ibang bagay, the material gets, faith, lagi natin, lagi tayo nangangailangan ng kakatitan, lagi tayo nangangailangan ng paniwala. Pero, hindi natin alam na nasa na sa loob ng So, no matter where you go, no matter what you do, no matter um, anong pinagdadaan, nasa iyo. So, just have something, prioritize your values, it's always good. At yun, pagka-prioritize ko ng tama yung values nyo, it will totally change um, your thoughts, feelings, and eventually your <laughs> it was a really nice, it was a really nice uh, story. Maganda. Ako doon. Well, totoo <laughs> naman kasi talaga yun. Hindi, nakikita ko yung, ano, nakikita ko na nag-contact link kay Thoughts. <laughs> Ayan, so... So, totoo naman din kasi talaga na minsan hanap tayo ng hanap nung isang bagay sa labas. But, minsan nasa sa atin lang yun eh. We just have to find it and unleash it. Unleash it talaga. <laughs> so, anong mapapaya mo sa ating mga viewers na bago tayo magtapos? Ayun. So, yun nga. No, ano ba talaga yung mga core values ninyo? Natin. Ninyo at natin. Diba? And then, let's prioritize and weigh and balance these core values. Diba? So, yun na. <laughs> Wala ko eh, eh, Ang anong key dyan talaga is balance stuff. Pero you should always, uh, I think you should um, use all your, how you prioritize your all and your values on everything that you do. So if you are compromising your values, sa mga bagay na against your principles, against your values, ginagawa mo pa rin, di ba? In the long run. Lahat ng mga nakapaligid sa'yo wouldn't benefit from it. And ikaw din wouldn't benefit from it. Yeah. We should always, always take into consideration of your values and everything that we do. So lahat naman ng bagay may dahil. So kung such thing is a bad intention, there's such thing, there's such thing as prioritizing your values about anything else. Kahit paano mo i-prioritize yung values mo. Ang mahalaga, always put it Tsaka mm. uh, very important talaga when you have certain values na well established at tsaka talagang you know na yun talaga yung innate sa'yo. Kasi at the same time magagamit mo din kasi yan also when you build a relationship with other people. Di ba? Na totoo yung sabi nila na parang Words of the same feather flock together. I mean, like, di ba, parang, um, when you surround yourself with people with the same values as you have, di ba, you tend to develop that uh, value more. Yeah. So you need to be careful then what uh, core values you prioritize. Di ba? Kung mas prioritize nyo yung yung meron kayong fear or uncertainty. Tapos isusurround mo yung sarili mo with same kind of people. Then, walang mangyayari. Pare-pareho kayong pare-pareho tayo. Hindi mag-grow. Pare-pareho tayo magiging stagnant. So, make sure na if ever naman na we encounter people with this kind of mindset or attitude, 
our values. Siyempre, hindi, hindi naman natin ipopor sa kanila na no, that's a negative thing. But rather, but ano, i-show lang natin sa kanila na there is the positive side of it. Diba? It's not always negative. Diba? We just need to see the balance on uh, certain things. Diba? Kasi hindi naman laging laging tama or laging maganda. Sabi nga nila minsan, too much of a good thing could also be a bad thing eventually. Diba? So, balance is the key. So, yeah. Just find the balance of your life and balance your spider web together so para uh, you can live a more happy, contented, peaceful life. You know, if you are watching on replay, please comment hashtag replay. And again, from Kurang Oshina, meron ako sa Sunday, I think it's 9 p.m. Manila time. It's all about uh, self-worth. It's the value that you put upon yourself. Sana manood kayo. Gusto ko yan. Panoorin ko yan. Sana manood kayo. Kapag may buong series ko. Replay na lang ako eh. Ay, I'm bored kasi. Please comment hashtag. 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 So yun, um, please comment hashtag if you're watching and replay, and please catch me live, and we, so I can interact more. If uh, questions arise, I could also, if I still have time, I could also answer questions. So just give me a very very short live uh, video on Sunday night. Please join. Send send me more series natin. So it's like my second to the last uh, series para sa na August. And uh, I think next week is going to be the last part of the self-awareness uh, chapter of this, <laughs> of this um, live in the MI series. Um, and it's going to be uh, all about creating your life's greatest vision. Yeah, creating your life's greatest vision. Yeah. So, um, I would want everyone to have a pen and paper uh, if you're gonna watch this live because we have an activity for you. And if you want, if if you like, you should be like you know, quiet, quiet, quiet space. Na mapapag isip ka yung maingi. If you wanna play a little bit of music, you can do that while you do the activity because this is gonna be a really, really great activity for each and every one of us. Uh, I'll be joining with Koshina. I have your own pen and paper, pen and paper as well. I have my own pen and paper uh, as well on my own. And then we're going to compare pen and papers. <laughs> All right. All right. So, yeah, I'll see you again next week, and I'll see you guys next week. So, see you again uh, next week. So, ang kabayana yung uh, last episode ng ating self awareness month for the month of August, and syempre, plug in ko na yung for the month of September, which is self-management. Okay. Managing a better you. Okay, so after that, we're going to send you in natin. Happy managing. Happy managing. Happy managing. Happy managing. That's going to be for the month of September. And then, so, and then. So, so, so hopefully, yeah. Hindi na tignan natin na ikilala yung mga sarili natin itong mga kahabaan ng August na ito. Diba? And hopefully, nakapatulong kami <laughs> sa makilala ninyo yung mga sarili ninyo. Yun lang. <laughs> so, yun nga. Um, wala na. I can't say anything uh, else. But, but yeah, please follow us at One Life Group the page. Um, our website is about to come. Please follow us at TikTok. And please follow us for me at Poy Delara. And where else? Poy underscore D underscore Lara underscore Lara. At Instagram at the YouTube channel. Just follow us there. So, you can see the videos that we have coached. Alright? Bye. 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 Bye.